how to upgrade your firmware on a locked 3D printer. Coming up on Sakri 3D Prints. Hello, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints, bringing you how to reviews and many other cool things you can do with 3D printing. If you're new to the channel and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I will put every social media link in the description of this video. You can, if you want, also support this channel on Patreon. I will put the link in the description of this video. Like I mentioned in the intro, today I'm going to talk about updating the firmware on a CTC or other 3D printer. It's a, it's a clone of the Prusa i3 3D printer and you saw already this printer many times on the channel. It was working but after I changed the lead screws I couldn't change the e-steps for my lead screws. So I wanted to go into the firmware but I was also not able to do that to do that you have to have a bootloader on your printer to hook it up with a USB cable in this case it's a B style USB cable so a USB connection was not possible in my case because the software didn't allow me to make those kind of changes so I had to use a Arduino board to use as a programmer. It's not that difficult, but it was for me the first time, so it was really a struggle to get into the right settings and the right board and all other things. So in Arduino, the software, Arduino IDE, there I installed a bootloader on my Arduino board and then I hooked it up on my ANET A8 main board. It's the red board. It was quite difficult because you need to have a 10 pins cable with some yeah, jumper wires from an Arduino board. And in this case, I had the right colors to match the color scheme that I needed to have to match up on my controller board from my 3D printer. So then after that, I installed the bootloader onto the 3D printer and then I could use only a USB connector to update the firmware. And then there was this difficult part of getting the right software on the <laughs> On the CTC you have different kind of taste you got different kind of flavors in your 3d printer and which kind of settings do you need to have well I'm going to show you now how I did it and what I did I made a screen recording and I'm going to show you what exactly I changed in the software or in the firmware configuration because when you are going to use Arduino IDE and you want to install Marlin 1.1.9 and got Marlin 2 on the end of 3, you need to configure every single setting. Which kind of printer you have, which kind of mainboard that you are using. And in the case of the ANET, I had to go to the uh, examples then select ANET and then copy the configuration H and the configuration advanced H into the Arduino main file. There I started the Arduino or the Marlin and then in the Marlin I could choose the in the configuration H I made all my changes. I changed the printer name in Zachary 3D prints. It's quite quite cool to have your own name 
on the 3D printer and there I also made sure that I had the right motherboard selected or main board or controller board and then the first thing that you need to change is the end stops I had a very difficult time for the end stop because the directions were different it had some very long time to figure it out how it works because you can do in the, these files you can do a lot of changes true false one or minus one everything so it was quite challenging and I was sitting here believe it or not for almost an whole Sunday trying 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 and that's a good part from for with 3d printing you can buy just out of the box a 3d printer put some files on an SD card put the SD card right into your printer and okay and you can start printing but the DIY printers like this one you are constantly working on improvements programming and different other kind of settings and that's a cool part of 3d printing but let's stop the chit chat and let's get into the screen recording so this is the script for the ANET A8 mainboard so we got, are going to the tops configuration H and next to it you have the advanced H we only need to use the configuration H tab and now we scroll a little bit down don't mind the text it's just some notifications to the people that are going to work with this file so the first thing that we are going to look at is the baud rate it's standard on 115,200 or 300 uh, 200 and the other thing is the motherboard it's motherboard board ANET 10 and you can undefine or uncomment the custom name for the machine and in this case it's Sakri 3D Print. Now we scroll further down the road and we are going to the end stops because we don't need to really change a lot here in these settings. And here you find the thermal runaway and here it's already enabled so and comment mm. underneath it you have the end stop settings here you need to make sure that you uncomment the right part and in this case it's the minus so that we leave as it is and then we are keeping the values false to make sure that the end stop is on the right place then we are going to continue make sure that you uncomment the find end stop interrupt feature if you make changes put two slashes and then changed now we are going to movement settings and here you can put in the right E steps for your stepper motors in this case 80 80 1600 and 100 for the e extruder you can always put it down but in this case i leave it as this if you make some changes and you are not sure if it is going to work put behind change the values what they were like i also did here and we are going to come continue to the next part and here we also need to make some changes if needed and at the invert directions you can change the direction of your steppers and also like I mentioned put in change if you make some changes also where your end stop is for the homing and here you change your 
settings from your heat bed and the printer height. So in section mesh, you go to the homing section and there you un of you comment the define bed center at zero zero. So by the additional features there you can do some preheat settings for PLA and ABS. I've got 200 for the hot end and 60 for the bed and also for other filaments you can do some preheat settings. By LCD and SD support you find LCD language. In this case I leave it on English but you can change it in any kind of language you want. You can uh, take Chinese, you can take Polish, you can take also in my case Dutch. You need to use the letters that are in front of it. So when you're done you click on verify and after that is done you click on upload. In my case I was also running the other pro program which is causing some problems but after it's uploaded you will get a right message that everything is uploaded. And so as you can see here Sakurai 3D prints. Here's also the word ready but it's not fitting because of the name. Here you can see SD. It's a uh, everything is as it should be. And I press the push buttons, prepare to home. I mean and we go continue in the menu control I can uh, I can do whatever I like in this I can store the settings I can load settings motion and if if I want to calibrate my 3d printer here you have it I can change every setting in the printer without using uh, Arduino IDE software or other software. Before I was not able to do that and now I can. Now we are going to print something. Preheat PLA and now it's going to preheat. So like you can see it's running and it's working fine. Need some little tweaking but I can do the tweaking on the screen in the printer without using a laptop to go into the Marlin software to make some little changes there. In the future I can always change for a different kind of screen. I want to, to install that but I want to first have the basics running so that I can use my printer and then go only there to make some other small changes. It's not, diff it's not always that easy to work with 3D printers. Sometimes you just buy, buy a 3D printer out of the box, you hook it up on the power you connect it with your Wi-Fi and you can just start with 3D printing whatever you like to do. But in some cases you want to do more than just out of the box 3D printing. And then DIY printers are most ideal to do that. It's not always that easy, but if you like to explore the world of 3D printing on this channel, you can do, I'm learning and also you can learn how to work with 3D printers and in this case you learn also programming in Arduino and learn your printer even better from the inside out. Well, 
as you can see the prints are printing i'm not expecting that much uh, too much from it but i know that the calibration is for the length height width is exactly right because it's 20 by 20 by 20. i can prove it where's my caliper Twenty. 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 So I know from those dimensions that my printer is well enough. So if you have an i3 3D printer with two pitch lead screws, then your settings are 80, 80, 1600 and you are well for the for the for the extruder i put a 94 but if you have over extrusion a bit lower if you have a under extrusion a bit more well so let's wrap up this video it's much fun to do 3d printing and especially with diy 3d printers when you're having problems and you want to dig deeper into the 3d printing world then those this this kind of videos are way fun for me and also for you we can learn quite a lot about these kind of machines learn to program learn to understand how 3d printers work well that being said thanks for watching please like this video subscribe to Zachary 3d prints and let's make some fun with 3d printing Zachary 3d prints bye bye